We wanted to create a movement that drives it towards purity, uh, simplicity. We wanted to renew the preciousness of simplicity. Now we're not making art or poetry. We're taking the approach of art and poetry rather over design and functionality. Uh, if I, the only way I could show an advanced concept is to go against the tide, the trend. Because then you're innovating, you're doing something that is you know, delivering the same purpose, or for the same purpose, but yet executing it and, and expressing it in a innovative way. With this product, or as I like to call it, object, um, it's been quite a, a, a big challenge to, to get it really purified, very simplified, really working with the craftsmanship of the product, really to get these fine details of the chamfer, the details of the materials, the matte finish with the uh, stainless steel on the back to get the compact feeling and also the right weight of the product. It's not about that puristic thinking, it's more about uh, you buy a beautiful object for the, the, the basic features that you want. And then, uh, of course, with, when it lights up, when the, the product becomes alive, it adds another dimension. It's a little bit uh, three-dimensional art or whatever you can say, living art object. It's really not about knowing if this product will work or not. It's actually this concept, this philosophy will work. As, as we uh, uh, develop more technology, as the population of this world grows, as we learn more about each other, we're going to have more complexity. And when you have a lot of complexity, people are going to be attracted to simplicity. And that's what we're offering here, uh, a, a concept, a platform, where you can simplify or purify the very essence uh, of what you want to do and who you want to be.